what is the value of 1 over 1 plus 2 over 2 plus 3 over 3? 1 over 1 plus 2 over 2 plus 3 over 3. 1 over 1 is 1, 2 over 2 is 1, and 3 over 3 is 1. So you have 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. Answer is C. If 3n is equal to 9 plus 9 plus 9, then n equals 3n is 9 plus 9 plus 9. That's 27. 3n divided through by 3, 27 divided by 3, n is equal to 9. Number 2, the answer is D. One movie is one hour and 48 minutes long. A second movie is 25 minutes longer than the first. How long is a second movie? So you're basically taking one hour and 48 minutes and adding to it 25 minutes, however you want to do this. So that's one hour and 73 minutes. Well, 73 minutes is like one hour and 13 minutes. Uh, 13 minutes and therefore that's 2 hours and 13 minutes so 3 is A Lucy tracked the number of cardinals and the number of blue jays that she saw each day for 3 days the graph below summarizes the birds that she saw how many more cardinals than blue jays did she see over 3 days Okay, cardinals let's see uh, it looks like this is 3, this is 3, and this is 4. So 3 plus 3 plus 4, which is 10. Blue Jays, that's this guy here. So that's 2, 3, and 2. So 2 plus 3 plus 2, and that is 7. So 7 and 10 are what we're comparing. So obviously 10 is 3 more than 7. And that would be the answer. So number four, that's B. The number 2023 is written on one side of a classroom window using the style of number shown. If you were to stand on the other side of the window, how would the number appear? Okay, what I just did is I took this and I wrote it on a piece of paper kind of firmly, you know what I mean? And then I just flipped a page over and looked at it. And when I flipped the page over and looked at it, it looked like... Uh, this guy right here. C is the answer to number five. In the diagram, points B, C, and D lie on a line. Also, A, B, C angle is 90. A, C, D is 150. Value of X. Okay. So this angle right here is 180 minus 150. So that's 30, right? Because the angles have to add up to 180 on the line. And then the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180. So we got x, and this is a 90 degrees, and that's 30. And then when you solve for this, you get x equal to, I believe, 60. So 6, the answer is E. The surface area of a cube is 24, volume of the cube is. So surface area of a cube would basically be, if the side length is, let's say, is x, it would be x squared times 6. Because x squared is the area of one side, and there's six sides. And they're saying that's 24. Okay, so let's solve for this. x squared, therefore, is 4. x is 2. Now, the volume of a cube would be x to the power of 3, length times width times height. So x is 2, so that's 2 to the power of 3, and therefore that is 8. Number 7, the answer is E. Charlie is making a necklace with yellow beads and green beads. She has already used four green and zero yellow. How many yellow beads will she have to add so that four-fifths of the total number of beads are yellow? So four G and zero yellow initially, and then we want a situation where four over five is equal to the number of yellow over the total, which would be G plus Y. And I think that is the equation. So... 4 over 5, well, g we already know is 4, so we can sub that in, so 4 plus y, and then this is the algebra. Cross, cross multiply, 16 plus 4y is 5y, 16 will equal y. So, does that answer the question? 
how many of yellow beads will she have to add? Yeah, because initially starting with zero, we need y to be 16. So you have to add 16. So eight, the answer is A. A positive number is increased by 60%. What percentage should the result be decreased to to return to the original value? Okay, the answer is not 60%. And good, it's not even one of the choices. Okay, so let's walk through this. We're going from 100. But I'm actually just choosing 100 just to make you know it easy to understand. We're going to increase by 60%. So that means the number goes to 160. Okay, now we want to go back from 160 to 100 so what do we have to decrease by we have to decrease by 60 but that is not a percentage so we have to figure out 60 we have to decrease by 60 obviously but 60 what is that as a percentage of the original value which is 160 so that that's what we're trying to figure out so 60 over 160 if you plug this into your calculator is 37.5 percent so number nine, the answer is E. Each of five doors is randomly either open or closed. What is the probability? Exactly two of the five doors are open. So one, two, three, four, five, probability. Okay, so probability, the denominator is the total number of cases. Now each door has two options, either open or closed. So two options, two options, and so on. And they get to totally have to multiply them. So that's two to the power of five which I believe is 32. So 32 goes in the denominator because that's the total number of uh, options, choices. And then enumerators are a specific condition. And our specific condition is exactly two of the five doors are open. So from five, choose two to be open. And from the remaining three, choose those three to be closed. So this is going to be five factorial over three factorial over two factorial. And this is just one. So that's 5 times 4 t over 2, and I believe that's uh, 10. So 10 goes here. And in lowest terms, that's 5 over 16. So number 10, answer is 8.